Hello friends. Hi. It's the beginning of a new vlog. It's quarter past three. Okay. I have a lot to say. It's quarter past three. I spent most of the day from 10 o'clock recording content. Okay. Working. Okay. Don't take it like we're not working. If we're creators, we are working. Okay. Um, so I'm exhausted. I'm hungry. I am filmed four videos today. I did two for the membership space and I did another two for everybody else and everybody, including the members. So I feel accomplished, but I want to do another couple of things. So I'm currently, oh, I also took, I did two reels and a couple of static shots which is great um then my camera battery was like miss mama's take it easy hey really hey sister so because i don't have a spare i'm currently charging it i really just need maybe about a 30 minute charge that's it because the rest is just um pictures statics and uh, everything else will be filmed tomorrow. That'll, that'll be for like TikTok and, 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 and Reels and all of that, which doesn't require me to be here. Make up. Make up. Otherwise, the reason why I'm working so hard is the reason why I'm working so hard is because you know how pedantic I am about my weekends and I want to rest on my weekends, knowing that I've got content, I've got things, that I need to do. Ooh, that actually reminds me there's something I need to drop right now for Vodacom and I need to do that now. Mm -hmm. no. But I'm here because I'm hungry and I am starving. I'm famished. It's quarter past three. I'm famished. I want to eat before I continue with all this stuff. Um, so I need to release that thing for Vodacom, which I'll do as I eat. And I really don't feel like having oats or anything like the light breakfast that I typically have. I don't feel like having that. I want to have elvo on a slice of toast with tomato. Uh, an egg just seems like too much for me right now. Even just elvo on a slice of toast with tomato. Maybe some cheese. And a cup of coffee that's it something just to hold me off and then later tonight i'm going to be making a stir fry which is great and i'll show you all of that as well because y'all seem to be liking the food content yeah okay but for now i'm really going to make something small just to keep me satiated while i continue working and i probably will call it quits in terms of the work front around 4:35. And then after that, I'll take about a 30 minute break, <laughs> watch some TV mindless entertainment so that I can just relax and get into my relax phase. And then I'll start cooking. So that's what I'm going to do. And tomorrow I really wanted to have a solo date me time kind of thing because I just feel like I deserve it. I've worked really hard this week. I submitted an assignment, I did something for work, I set up some things for the life coaching business, all of that that I had to do behind the scenes. And I really just feel like it's been a hectically productive week. Even on top of that, they were shooting for Vodacom and on top of that, they was just releasing content on my social media. So I really feel like I've had a wonderfully productive week excuse me, a wonderfully productive week that I deserve, I deserve, my darling, to spend money on a solo date. The catch is, the chubby suck, is it my money that I want to spend or is it Diesel's money? I'm stuck in a place where I'm just like, why don't I text Diesel and say, eh, baba, I'm you know, just just hook me up with a little some some. Let me hold something, Diesel. Come on now. And then I treat myself to a book and lunch and maybe an outfit because your namu toaka ha ha fanika chaltingyani. Okay, he 
doesn't he doesn't do small monies. He does serious monies. So I'm just thinking, do I bother Diesel? Use his money? Do I use mine? If I use mine, I'm gonna be extra stingy. It's, it's a lot. It's just too much to think about. You know what I'm saying? Do, do, do you know? So anyway, so I'm working, I'm wearing a work shirt because I, I'm on a break, okay? And then I'll change my outfit again and take some shots and then, fantastic, great. Yes, I've got bread, so let's make this food real quick. Okay, uh, morning everybody, it's a new vlog, somewhere in the midst of the vlog, uh, before I tell you the crazy book I'm reading, uh, I've been up since say about 2 o'clock, and uh, it's raining today which I think makes this all the more prophetic in its own way. We woke up to the news of Super Mega, aka to the death of one of South Africa's most loved artists, rappers, hip hop sensations, a star really in his own right, aka was uh, gunned down outside a restaurant in Durban. I don't know what's happening in South Africa. And I mean, not the government stuff, not the politics, not that. Artists. We are losing artists almost every single week. Great artists, people who are fantastic at their craft. We're losing them every week. Just last week they had buried another artist. I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. I just, I just I just don't know. It's a painful time right now. I just, even going on to social media today, it's, it's not it. It's not it, you know? Um, and I'm not going to sit here and say I was a diehard fan of AKA. I wasn't. But I knew his music. 
And we knew who Keenan Forbes was, man. Like everyone knew him. How crazy is it saying that we knew who Keenan Forbes was? And I remember, you know, as I was going through the tweets and everything, I remember a, a, a poem that I, that I read in Varsity when I was doing literature, English literature. And uh, we, we studied a poem called uh, Death Be Not Proud by John Donne. And, and I, think, I think Bob Dylan also did a, did a song along the same name. And it's, it's a poem that speaks to death as if it was speaking to a person, as if death was a person, to say, do not be proud of your actions. This is something you shouldn't be proud of. Um, and, man, for some reason that hit my mind today, like, just death, do not be proud. We can't keep losing fantastic artists like this. And you know what the sad thing is? We lose them and their stories run cold. The investigations run cold. We don't, we don't know. Nothing comes out. It's just hits, you know, on these people. And, and then dockets go missing or the cases, then it just disappears. It's, it's, it's. some reason I don't feel like the same the same will be said for Mega I feel like we'll we'll find out we'll find out what was behind this hit or who was behind this hit yeah he was a year younger than me I was 35 I'll be 36 this year it's just Let me take a moment and I'll get back to you with this, okay? The current book that I'm reading, uh, continuing to read, is Mariana Enrique's The Dangers of Smoking in Bed. I'm trying to just continue with, with the vlog to try and get me out of, you know, the mood that we're in today. Um, but it's a collection of short stories. It's a collection of uh, carnal, very, well, not in all of them, but some quite gory um, short stories that are set in Buenos Aires and in Argentina. And where, you know, some of my favorite ones was, I'm not finished, I'm about... I can't even I can't even articulate myself I'm 104 pages in and um, my current favorite one that I'm reading right now is called meat and uh, the well and Rambla triste and where are you dear heart so there's, there's quite a few that I enjoy um, we haven't gotten to the one that is the title of the book dangers of smoking in bed but it's just a collection of horror stories that also vie on the, you know, magical realism, just maybe the, the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Superficial. There's a word that I'm looking for, uh, in terms of the type of fiction that this is, but also at the same time, it's, it's horror, it's horror short stories and it's, it's 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 nuts i read uh two or three of them last night and i was wondering how i was gonna go to bed and i don't really quite i don't scare that much when i read horror novels as opposed to when i'm watching horror uh i don't i, I think for me i'm more visual when i'm watching something and it sticks in my head a lot more when i'm watching something um this title is the 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 cover is actually quite frightening. So if you're not somebody who who maybe just skip this part, but this is the cover. If you look at the hands in the eyeballs, oof. <laughs> it's hectic. It's hectic, but it's a really pretty cover. Uh, anyway, 
I can't articulate myself. All I can tell you is that it's great short stories um, that follow stories that that is set that are set. Really good. It's so far, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's not fantastic, but I'm enjoying it. As somebody who loves short story collections, it's it's not great. It's not like uh, church ladies, you know what I'm saying? But but it's quite enjoyable. It's worth the read. And the other short story collection that I am reading as well uh, is Shoko Smile, which is a little bit more on the fiction, maybe even romance side. But that's that's somewhere over there. That's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably read this for another fifteen minutes or so. Finish this current short story that I'm reading, um, which is long, and then just get out of bed. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why are you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say Just pick up your phone, tell me where you be, cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations Too many invitations, and the last night was heavy, heavy. I need communication, tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7, every other second Just to make sure we were up to date now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay You saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all I crave So I wonder When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know, say Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know.
Good morning. Thoughts. Hello. It is. I'm on my way to get my nails done because one of them is lifting, and I actually want to do something different. I've got an 11 o'clock appointment. It is 20 to 11. It takes me 10 minutes to get there. Um. So I thought I should just have a chat with y'all. Know what I'm saying? I've got a couple of things to do today. Um. I've just been under. I've been under a lot of pressure in the last two weeks. Um, it's it's been it's been hard. Okay, I've been talking and talking and talking and not realizing that actually <laughs> my camera wasn't on. Uh, so yeah, it's just been a tricky month financially for me and it's fine now i'm all right now but uh it really has been tricky and i've had to make some some really tough decisions i've actually in truth been having to make really tough decisions when it comes to um finances since COVID, really since 2022 and um you know it's crazy because uh on the outside people look at you and they look at your life right and they think wow you know she lives a good life she's rich rich i get that a lot oh you're rich and i'm just like no i'm actually not um and it's hard for people to reconcile that because they see you as a person living in this nice house and living in or driving a fancy car or whatever along with all those things come responsibilities and bills and i'm not saying that people who drive smaller cars or live in smaller houses don't have bills to pay but there's a big variation or discrepancy between the amounts of money that we pay so to say that sir come on now to say that um somebody is rich rich i wouldn't i wouldn't agree with that i think uh rich rich is when you can wake up in the morning and not have to go to work but still have money come in and wake up in the morning and not have to hozuga and still have money come in so it's it's not i think um i can say that where i'm at is right now trying to be in a space where one day where i'm building generational wealth right where i'm building i don't think i will ever be as wealthy as i would want my kid to be wealthy i want to live a legacy um for my child so that my child can be very comfortable it doesn't mean I don't want to be comfortable. I do. I want to be able to just, you know, wake up and decide, man, fuck this, man. I'm gonna go to a uh, freaking Barbados tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a Scandinavian country, Sweden. I'm somebody who's always wanted to try out Sweden. So, like, it's that's for me wealth that's for me rich money you know um so no can't say i can relate to that because i wake up in the morning i have i try by all means to have different streams of income so that i can not pay the bills but live comfortably but does that mean i'm rich no 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 ma'am no ma'am if I have investments galore and like I said, money starts coming in, um, then then I can safely say I've made it. Without me having to wake up in the morning, then I can safely say I've made it. But hey, time, time. Um, so I've been working on, ah, Mara, you know what? Let me maybe just go in. <laughs> Let me go get my nails done, yeah and uh if there's one thing 
I will always share with you guys, always make time and spend money on what makes you happy. Anything that involves self-care, looking after yourself, whether it may be the massage, doing your hair, buying weaves, if that's your kind of thing, or or uh, what is what is this, nails, or something like that, spend that money. Because you work very hard, very, very hard, to be in a position, oh, damn it, ah, oh, damn it. Why do people park like this? I wanted to take the parking spot. Okay, you know what? I'll talk about it with you guys when I'm done here, all right? We'll talk about it when I head on over to my next destination. Let me go get my nails done, share. But always treat yourself. Treat yourself to good things. I can tell you that for free. Treat yourself to good things. You deserve it, my darling. Are, bachayetu. Are, enroe, manala.